Hello and welcome to Role for Sanity, where we become mythos investigators in the world of Call of Cthulhu role-playing. Today we're going to be looking at the Call of Cthulhu sheet that you'll find on Roll20. Roll20 is a virtual tabletop system and I've been noticing that a few of the actual players out there who perform Call of Cthulhu scenarios for our entertainment are finding this sheet a little difficult to navigate. There'll be a pause in gameplay where somebody will say, oh, I can't find that. So I thought I'd make a quick video for you folks, just in case you're using this classic sheet. It's very nice looking and maybe you can just jump in to the area that you want to see on your character sheet quicker than some of the actual play people are doing. So here we are at the Roll20 character sheet and you see this is our character Fifi LeBeau. They are an explorer and they are 24 female from Washington, birthplace Arkham. Now we have our stats at the top across here. And if you click any of these, you'll see that a dice will roll. So the thing to remember from the top about this sheet is there are two modes that this sheet can be in. One is this dice rolling mode where you can just hit a button. It'll turn yellow and you can then roll the dice or you can be in this edit mode, which is in the top right hand side. Give that a click. And now you'll see that the numbers turn a different color and we're able to change these. So if I uh, reduce uh, Fifi Sanity to 59 and then come out of edit mode and then click Sanity again, you'll see that it's accepted that new figure for us down there. So that's the major thing to remember. If you need to adjust your hit points, magic points, or your sanity, come up here to this top right hand corner, jump into edit mode, and you can change the values that you need to change. Going across the top of the screen, we have some rolling options. So if uh, the keeper said to me, well, I need you to make an extreme education roll, you'd click the button to arm the extreme in the, these roll options, then click your particular value that you want to roll. Give that a click and it will see extreme failure. And then remember, <laughs> remember to set it back to the irregular side of your dice rolls. Otherwise you will be landed with that extreme dice rolls and you'll be wondering why you are failing all the time. So that's a nice little option that you can do on this character sheet. There is this option here which allows you to whisper to the keeper. So anything you type in the chat down here will only go to the keeper. You probably uh, can message keeper in other ways, but that's a nice little option that you have there. So we have our character traits here. Remember clicking on any of these will roll a dice over here in this dice roller. We then have conditions over here. So if we select a condition, this is the equivalent of checking that box on your character sheet to say, I have a major wound, I am unconscious, and I am dying. And then you can also mark yourself as having a temporary insanity. And of course, uh, mark yourself if you are indefinitely insane. So those just take the place of the tick boxes that you will see on your character sheet. Now we have this line which is the most often missed in the character sheet when people are in a hushed hurry and they're trying to uh, play the game. It is marked into skills, combat, backstory, spells, possessions and your settings. Primary one you're going to be using most of the time is this alphabetically arranged list of skills. Now you'll come down here and you'll see all your skills that you, you have. So if I click on this skill, navigate, we can see that Fifi has failed her navigate role. What we're not going to see, if we look at the F side of things, is that uh, fighting brawl. That comes in when you go into combat. So whenever the keeper says to you, we're now entering combat, come over to this tab here, click into your combat roles. Here you will see the weapons you have and can allocate these skills here. So uh, we're going to say Fifi pulls out her 38, fires the gun, and you'll see the 38 revolver misses. 
and that would have done six damage. What we're not seeing here is, of course, the fighting brawl roll. So if this is missing from your character sheet, remember, up to the top right-hand side of things, select the options, and you'll get one of these plus signs down here. So give that a quick plus, and you can just uh, put in fist, and then that's going to be your brawl roll, and damage is going to be 1d3, one attacks per round. And then we can just come out of edit mode. So now when I throw a punch, I can see that is a failure. But that is how you add things to the combat part of your character sheet. So remember, once you're out of combat, jump back into your skills. But when you jump into combat, go over to the combat tab. Nice and simple. The backstory tab. This is where you can refer to your personal descriptions, ideologies, belief. This is where you can add, remember, come into edit mode and you can add a phobia. So you can just put in whichever phobia you want to add there. Come out of edit mode and that is saved for you. Same with spells and possessions. So possessions... Fifi has got a trusty handbag. You've got your wealth levels over here. So again, you won't, you'll won't. you find your credit rating there. But if you want to find out how much money you've got, you have to come over into your possessions. So spending level is 50 and cash in hand, cash in the handbag is $275. If you wanted to add another possession, remember, go into edit mode, give that a click, add whatever possession you want to hear. Uh, add to the character sheet and then come back out of edit mode go back into your skills when you're playing the rest of the game and you can put in whatever you need you do have your fighting brawl over here if you give that a click it will roll but i often find it's easier to go into the combat side of things rather than going across to this fighting side of the character sheet that just about wraps it up for another Roll for Sanity video. Just a quick video I wanted to do to take you through this Roll20 classic character sheet. Thank you to all the new investigators who have joined us since the last video. Stay tuned and we'll Roll for Sanity again soon. <laughs>